are in Germany after Angela Merkel stands by her open door policy, and that resulted in thousands of protesters in the street yelling, She must go. Sebastian Gorka, author of Defeating Jihad, joins us now. You know, it's remarkable, Sebastian, that uh, Angela Merkel, uh, with every attack that's been happening in Germany, and quite a few recently, she comes under more and more pressure and criticism, and yet she's not backing down. Is this political suicide for her? I really think it is, Ashley. Just look at the fact that her uh, CSU coalition partner mm. uh, in the personage of the president of Bavaria, where, where these attacks have occurred, has said he's not going to support this anymore. If you look at last week, Germany was suffering a jihadi attack every 72 hours. And for her to come back and say, everything's fine, keep the refugees on coming, just shows a kind of disconnection from reality and what the average German wants to see happen, that I think, I think her coalition is dead, Ashley. Well, how does, yeah, that's my next question. Where does it go from here? Um, you know, will she back down, I guess, is my next question to you. I think that's up to the people of Germany. This, uh, I think this demonstration was tabled for three in the afternoon local time. So we'll see what the ramifications, how big this protest can become, and whether it can ma remain mainstream. Because the question is, we've had the Pegida movement, we've had the kind of more nationalist, yeah. anti-immigrant thing for years. The question now is, can this be an expression of just concern for the safety of the average German? If they can keep it in that vein, Ashley, I think she's in big trouble. And what's the likelihood of this spreading? We're already seeing, we know that we have the, the far-right groups in France, Marine Le Pen and so on, continuing to gain ground. Do, we, do you expect that to spread around uh, the rest of Europe? As long as we have these events that are occurring again and again and again. So if you look at the last uh, two months, so just since the beginning of June, uh, we've had an attack outside of Iraq and Syria, so a jihadi attack outside of the war zone every 83 hours. Mm. That's a reality that politicians sooner or later have to acknowledge and have to change policies or they're just simply going to lose their electorate and those governments will fall or they'll have to dissolve and hold early elections. Look, look at what happened in the UK, Ashley. You were yeah. there, right? Yes. UKIP was part of this. Absolutely. Uh, you know, Stuart mentions this a lot, and I, I re-emphasize we could very well be seeing the end of Europe, certainly the breaking up of the European Union. Yeah, I, I, I give the EU a uh, very short uh, lifespan. I give it maybe a couple of years. There may be a, a hub left of the real mm -hmm. multicultural, multinationalist, but as an institution, I think its time is done. All right. Sebastian, stay right there. Uh, Pope